Hey everyone, these next few videos, I, I need to break them down because they're going to take a very long time if I try to put it in one video. These videos come to you out of frustration. <laughs> so let's begin with video number one. I, I'm not going to try to to number them all actually, but this is going to be the first of a few. Frustrations. Uh, one of the videos that I had spoke to you on before was about checklists and how some checklists are good. Case in point, you have your to-do list. I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this. These things have to be done today, whatever the case may be. Those are good checklists. Uh, another example of a good checklist would be a particular job you have especially if you're one of those who is a physical working type person, roofer, a manufacturing plant of any kind, a auto transport company, a Penske dealership, U-Haul dealership, a budget rider, any of those, there's there's certain checklists that are need to be done at a certain time to keep everyone safe and also to make sure to give proper customer service. Those checklists are okay. <laughs> so if you have your to-do lists, you have your work checklists, or I will even direct this at those that are still in school, uh, elementary school, junior high, high school, middle school, whatever all the, the stuff is, however they label it now these days. You obviously have to accomplish certain things, you have to do certain things, certain things are expected of you, certain things are required of you. Again, those are all good checklists. I will do my best to get something up, uh, type something up on, on Microsoft Word or whatever program it is that I have, just to kind of do a comparison later after I'm finished recording these videos. Just do your best. I understand that there's certain guidelines sometimes to the checklist that are, I'm not sure I want to use the word impossible because nothing is impossible, especially with Christ on your side, but unnecessary. And yet some people require it of you anyway. And you have to do supposedly certain things to get certain results. So I just caution you, check out your checklists. <laughs> Hopefully you have the checklists that are for the positive side. Obviously on your to-do list, especially if you're running a business. Let's put it that way too. Also for the for those that are running a home-based home, home -based business, there are certain things that you need to do on a daily basis. There are certain things that you need to consistently work on for your business to grow, prosper, move forward, whatever word it is you prefer to use there. So those are good checklists. Case in point with our home business, it's a, just a couple examples for you. Posting on Facebook daily, if we have an Instagram account, posting on Instagram. Those of us who are continuing on with the daily videos, we need to do a daily video and also send out an email and also connect with, uh, with those who get in touch with us based on, on the fact that they're, they see something in our home-based business opportunity that they would like to follow. So those are, that is one example of a good checklist. And again, I will do my best to get some more out. But the next video we're going to do on a not-so-good checklist. So again, I am here to encourage you and inspire you. My apologies for being frustrated today. But some things just need to be said and covered. And we will get to that on the next video. God bless. May you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And may your 2016 be going the way you want it to go. Click any of the links below. Would love to catch up with you. Would love to exchange some ideas. Would love to see how you handle your checklists.